Uh, developing right now, Northwest Suburban School is dealing with a big issue, a case of the mumps, and it's only expected to get worse for them. CBS News' Mike Priginelli live after just returning from Barrington High School. And Mike, there could be up to 20 more cases. That's new from what we knew this morning. That is indeed, and that is very right, Aaron. Here are the very latest numbers from the Lake County Health Department at Barrington High School. There are two confirmed cases, one probable case, and 11 suspected. And at the two middle schools, there are seven suspected cases. In Barrington District 220, they're dealing with the first cases of mumps in recent memory. We have two confirmed cases of mumps. And they have more students who are suspected of contracting the viral disease. I would say the majority are at the high school. We do have a handful of probable cases at both of the middle schools. Suspected mumps cases have been identified in the district's middle schools, Prairie and Station. The two confirmed cases are at Barrington High School, where a student and an adult are infected. It's become something of a buzz in the hallways. The only thing I've heard is that when you're not vaccinated, you aren't allowed to come back here for 25 days. Ellie Michaels says she's not scared of a potential outbreak, but couldn't help thinking about it when she became ill recently. I just got over a cold, and when I did get the cold, I'm like, oh my gosh, and then I'm like, oh no. Yeah. The highly contagious disease is most easily spread through saliva, sneezing, or coughing. Oh, you just have to be over diligent and, you know, be aware of your surroundings. Make sure that you're washing your hands. And if a student exhibits symptoms like fever, headaches, and swelling under the ears and jaw, the principal has some simple advice. If you're ill, uh, make sure that you stay home. If you think that you have mumps, um, we are asking the parents to contact their doctor. At least one student who contracted mumps had been vaccinated, which came as a bit of a shock to Hayden Harris. I don't want the mumps. That's why he and other students walked into the building today, vowing to wash their hands and do their part to try and prevent this mumps cluster from becoming a full-blown outbreak. Now, in order for the cluster to be reclassified as an outbreak, there needs to be at least three confirmed cases. That seems likely to happen pretty soon. As for how a vaccinated person can get the disease, experts say some people simply lose their immunity over time. In the newsroom, Mike Puccinelli, CBS2 News. Aaron, Lionel? Mike, thank you very much.